All right, fans of astronomy have their eyes on the sky this daybreak to see a rare spectacle. That's right. The solar eclipse is happening right now, and some lucky people got to see it firsthand. Daybreak's Tina Shively is at our social media desk with some of the video and the pictures coming in, right? That's right, guys. Good morning to you. It is amazing coincidence when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, casting a shadow on the Earth and blocking out all the light. We have some video this morning from the Faroe Islands. That's a little section of country there north of England and uh, east of the U.K. there. There you go. East of I Iceland, excuse me. It's one of the only places on Earth where you can see the total eclipse this time around. And when you have the total eclipse, you see that corona, a silvery circle made by the sun around the moon. And you can see various stages of the eclipse this morning. There's also some people on the ground there with their cameras set up earlier. Let's turn to Twitter now. Let's take a look at that. A lot of great pictures. These are from the BBC. We also saw a lot of people complaining on Twitter this morning, you know, in Twitter style that they usually do. Uh, places like Romania and even London, because they have rain and they have clouds and they aren't able to see anything. Actually, one person tweeted they've started a petition on change.org to have the celestial spheres sacked, as they say in Britain, or fired because of it. So a little humor there. And actually, I'm kind of disappointed that we can't see it because, you know, I'd be out there with my camera right now trying to take some pictures. What do you guys think? You feel cheated or what? A little cheated. Yes. I was asking Albert the exact area. No, we're not near the North Atlantic. We're not near the Arctic Ocean. Absolutely so, not. Yeah. But and we have clouds, too. So That's right. even if we were in the area, we, we might not see it. Maybe we'll get it next time around. Yeah, yes. maybe next time. Thank you, Tina. 2017. That's the next one. All right. I like those pictures. Thanks. Keep you updated right here on KVU. Mm -hmm. All right, Tina. And finally, this daybreak, a retired math teacher from Tallis has something to celebrate her 104th birthday. Wow. Check her out. Her name's Elizabeth Sullivan. She turned 104 and says what kept her in good health all these years, not real doctors, but instead Dr. Pepper. Ah. <laughs> Sullivan says she fell in love with the drink later on in life when she was 60 years old. I started drinking my bath 40 years ago, three a day. And every doctor that sees me says it'll kill you, but they die and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Elizabeth. Uh, the CEO of Dr. Pepper, Larry Young, there he is. He heard about her love for the soft drink and he made it a milestone birthday for her. He delivered a Dr. Pepper gift basket and several bottles of the drink mm. to celebrate. I gotta say, they could have given her a little more. I mean, she's free advertising right there. Yeah. Great story, Absolutely. right? But wasn't the origination for Dr. Pepper initially, didn't they say that it had something to do right. with medicinal yes, purposes? Yes, Coca-Cola was like that too. It oh, actually wow. had cocaine yeah. in it. Yeah, that's started. why yeah. they called Dr. Yeah. Pepper. Yep. 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 We'll take a look at more of that, but wouldn't you like to be a Pepper too? <laughs> I would, I, I would. That reminds me of Short Circuit, Johnny Five. Remember oh, that movie? Ah, <laughs> yes, Johnny Five is alive. <laughs> and as you're waking up, I hope you enjoy your day, whether it's coffee, Coffee, Dr. Pepper, whatever you want to drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. And again, weather alert. Uh, Albert's going to tell you more about that in our next cut in 25 minutes.